Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with 3dmreality.com and today I'm going to be sharing you three cards using the um, <clears throat> Peaceful Pot Piece Elements, which is this kit, or not kit, but this set of embellishments. And let me just show you real quick what they have here, or what we have, because I didn't really realize how many things we have on this one. And um, let me just go over and show you. But you have here um, two pieces of the black elements. And as you can see, there are some circles, some banners. There's also these little borders that look really cute. And um, I don't know how to say that, but you have a basic black. And then the border, it's kind of has a little foil edge, if you will, that is in black. So you can see a little bit more. Then there's also these pieces that are like die cuts. Um, and this one are a really um, a little bit thicker than a regular cardstock. They're already colored and you can see there's kind of like, um, you can see it's not uh, matte. matte um, so you have a little bit of the reflection if you can see. So, and they are a little bit thicker. Um, so you have different die cuts. Now, what is really nice about this one is that um, you have several of the little Margaret, several of the images from the painted poppies, um, the stamp set. So you have these little poppies and you have the individual one. And then of course you have this ones. So it was really uh, great because you can make really quick and easy cards with those. Um, so definitely another one that I really like. Then of course we have the watercolor and of all of these, you get two of each, right? So you can tell I have played just a little bit with them. Um, but you have some leaves, you have, and I don't know if you can see, but it has some white embossing or clear embossing, um, so that when you color them, you have that, uh, outline, um, popping up. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. So anyway, so this one, what I like about this one is that you can use your watercolor pencils or you can also do watercoloring with the inks, which is what I'm going to be doing today. Um, you can also um, do just regular coloring. Um, I don't really think that you want to be using your blends, I'll be honest, just because A, this is more of a watercolor, um, watercolor, oh my goodness, paper. And so um, you're going to, a lot of the ink is going to kind of move. And the second thing is that because you're using alcohol, uh, with the blends, then you're going to be coloring actually on the line. So you wouldn't really get the whole image. You might see a little bit of a border, a little bit darker. So I don't know. I don't think the blends will be the best. I think watercolors definitely will be the best way to go with those. And of course you get the same elements as, um, well, not all, but like the large puppy and these ones, which is similar to that one, but a little bit more of those. I don't know if you can really see it. Yeah, I don't think you can see it. And then, of course, you have the puppy flowers, individuals, and lots of leaves. So you have two of those sheets as well. And then we have the vellum. And so this one is actually the same. I was going to say that. So this one is exactly the same as this one. So now you can see more of the flowers that you get. So you can see here the leaves, the flowers, the individual ones, and then the one that has a little bit more. So these ones are really cute. I think they are really great for add-on on your cards. And one thing that you can do, and I'll show you here, is I actually color one just for you to see it. So here is one without anything. And then you can actually use your blend. So for this one, I think blends will be great because this is bellum. So definitely something to think about when you are um, using it. So this is the one that I wanted to show today because um, I got it. And I haven't really played much with it. I think I've made a few projects with it, but not very many. So I definitely wanted to take some time and do it. So the other thing that I'm going to be showcasing is this design series paper, which is the, I think the honey paper, is that right? Let me see what's the name. <laughs> Golden Honey Specialty Design Series paper. And so this one, really nice it actually coordinates really well with another suite out of the catalog i don't have that one i'll be honest um i'm actually gonna get it until next month just because um 
I couldn't get everything in just one time, right? Like the first month. But anyway, it coordinates really well with the honeybee bundle, which is this one. I've seen lots of projects with this one. Of course, there's some dice, so there's a bee and some panels. So anyway, it just looks really nice and definitely this one will go great with that one. So next month, you'll see me featuring more of that one. But you can see the Design Series Paper has gold foil. And um, it's just, I mean, it has black and white. And um, you see it all here, black and white and gold. And again, really nice paper. Now, this one is actually coming from Celebration. So you get this one for free when you place an order of $50 um, with the Stampin' Up! Or in this case, with me. So anyway, <coughs> so if you don't know anything about the Stampin' Up! Um, sorry, of the Celebration. Um, so during January and March, you're going to be having lots of goodies or free items when you purchase um, with us. And uh, for every $50 or $100, depending of the item that you want, you get something for free. So pay attention to this little symbol because this is where you're going to see um, if it's free with a $50 or if it is free with like $100. Like for instance, the dies on this set, this one's free with 100 and then free with 50 So definitely... Something to look, this is the one that I was telling you. So this is the paper, again, free with $50. And I, I think it's really great. The other thing that I want to be using is also the Sending You Thoughts. I thought this was really great. Um, it is a sentiment set, and again, it's free, um, also with $50. And I thought we should be using this one. Um, haven't used it. I love having sentiments. And so definitely want to showcase those with the puppies. So let's just get started with that. So the first card, and I'll be honest, I'll be all over the place because I don't, you know by now that I never really have the card done. I always have like the idea, but really not the card done. But on this one, I was thinking about having something like so, right? So this is going to be your card base, fold it in half, and then um, maybe have this color, so that you can see the watercolor that I was telling you. Uh, I have some leaves somewhere there. Um, and then um, I'm going to put some of the ribbon with the gold edge and maybe have a sentiment. So something like that is what I have in mind. <coughs> and I also wanted to use, and we'll see how that goes, the uh, Peaceful Poppy sequence. Because uh, I feel like these are really cute. And again, this comes with the gold, black, and red. So I think it will be really nice. So let's start first with with this little element. So that you can see what I meant with that. So I'm going to have <clears throat> just this one. I'm going to bring the old olive for the leaves. And then I think real red will be fine for the for this flower. So... Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you joining me. I know it's it's Thursday night and anyway, it's been kind of crazy here lately. I had my house with two little kids. They're running around, came back from work and oh my goodness, we had dinner and they had already finished their dinner. My husband picked them up and so they had already finished their dinner and it's just like we couldn't really eat. They were all over the place running and oh, it's just crazy. But so you can see, so I just have here my, um, what is this color? The aqua painter. Now I usually just color the whole thing, even the borders. I don't really go with, but you can see how you get the color, right? See that the lines, because it's embossed, you get the flower right there, right? And the other thing is that because it's water, um, you can see you don't go over those areas. Again, I do go there. Um, I'm just going to go. And you can add more water or more color. If you get more water in it, you get a lighter color. If you get um, less water and more of the ink, then you get um, a darker image now if it was too dark then you can squeeze a little bit more and then remove some of that like you can you can see this i'm taking away just so that so this is one of the things that i love about watercolor that in this case you could actually remove some of the color okay you see that i removed some of that so definitely something that um to keep in mind and again you can add and remove as much as you want um you just put more water 
and go from there. Let me just put a little bit here. Now, once it dries, if you put water, you don't really completely get the color out, but you still get really nice, um, a, a nice effect. Um, I think watercolor is one of my favorite uh, ways to color as well, especially with watercolor paper, just because you get a lot of, um, I don't know, a lot of shading, if you, uh, if you will. Kind of like the blends, but a little bit more artistic, right? I think the blends, I love the blends because they look like cartoons, you know? But this one looks a little bit more artistic. I think that's the word that I want to. So you can get a little bit more. And again, if you don't add as much water and more of the ink, you can kind of also do some of the uh, shadowing or, sh or, yeah, I don't know how to say shadowing or shading. I don't know. Right? But you see that how how it looks, and um, and again I do like coloring the edges. I don't like the white complete white edges. I don't know, I don't know you, but I try to. Now you could also only color this and leave the edges white. I don't know. I prefer not to do that. Now before you change colors, make sure you clean your aqua painter, and uh, you saw that I'm only using scratch paper, nothing fancy. Um, you can also use a little towel. I usually just use my my paper, my scratch paper, the old olive here. <coughs> so now we're going to go with um, old olive. Now, these are the old ink pads, right? So these ones were really easy. You're just squishing that. I know that the newer ones, and I'll show you here in a second. So the newer ones, and uh, say like shaded spruce, right? It's harder to squeeze them. So when I am using these ones, uh, how do I, oh, he's here, I'm trying to do the same. So when I am using these ones, I typically just put a little bit of um, of ink on my, uh, what is this, acrylic, and then pick up the color from there, right? Um, so that is if I wanted to do uh, a color from the new. So if you have the new cases, don't, don't even bother. I mean, it's gonna be really hard. You can do it, but I think it's easier just to pick up the color from your acrylic and then uh, get the color from there. Now to clean up, just use your sh your chamois, which of course now I don't even know where it is, but somewhere here I should have it because I need to clean that. But if not, let me just bring, oh here. I'm like, where, where it is? We just get your chamois and then just clean it and you're done. So, um. So that's something there if you are using the newer ones. I still have lots of the ink pads from the old ones. They still work, so I I still use them. Um, but you can see here, rich color here with the old olive. And the same thing applied. You can put more water or less, because again, watercolor paper is just fantastic for coloring. I'm not kidding you. And you see how easy it is, right? I mean, I'm not really doing anything fancy. Now, if you kind of put a little bit of pools of color, then you get like a little bit of different colors on your leaf. So again, you're just gonna be cleaning it and that's it. So we have those pieces there. All right, so. I'm gonna put those here aside and you can see how nice it look, right? I mean, I feel like, I think from all the elements, this is one of my uh, favorites just because you can turn them into any color you want and they're very easy to, to play with. <clears throat> all right, so now go back to the car. So this one, let's just go and think about these. So this one is eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. And as always, I just realized I don't have my bone folder. Oh my goodness. It's like every single time. All right, I'm going to be using... Oh, here it is. Like, where is it? I know I had it. All right, so so for these ones, I go always point to point and then just bone folder to make sure I have a crisp, nice fold. I have here a piece of that honey, uh, golden honey paper, which again is from the celebration. And this one is three by five and a little bit longer than a half. So it's not even um, five eighths, but just a little bit so that when I glue it down, I can just cut whatever excess I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one down. A 
Hello, Angie. <laughs> hello, Marie. Thank you so much for joining me. I know that I don't I don't usually say hello to everyone, mainly because sometimes I'm not really watching all the comments. I do try to respond all your questions. If not during the live at the um after I'm done, I always try to go back to the comments and and respond to any questions I see. Um but um yes, I don't always look at all the comments just uh, mainly cuz then I get all distracted and then all the words do not flow and I I know you know these. I'm not from the US, so sometimes it's harder for me to start speaking and distracting and it's just kind of harder. <laughs> I don't know if you relate with me, but yeah, that's something that always happens to me. So, see how really nice stars going here, right? I mean, Look at those, and it was so easy. Now, I'm gonna be putting this um, here, and then I'm gonna be using some of these ribbon just to bring back that gold. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and do the sentiment. And now, for this one, see, I've been going back and forth. I think the, hmm, I think I can use congratulations. I also thought that it will be, um, yeah, I like this one. Congratulations, I think it looks nice. The other one that I was thinking was like, you'd be better already. Because then you can put uh, inside if love and thumbs could heal. Wouldn't that be nice? I think I like that one better. But but I think I will have to be cutting, um, what is this color? Um, very vanilla. So maybe we'll do that. Let's just play with that one. We'll see. Oh, I already put it on my block. Mm, I'm going to be using Memento. So let's just put it right there. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna leave it that way. And then of course, you know this by now. I love doing the banners with the uh Taylor Tag Punch. This has become my favorite favorite punch ever and i think i use it in every single car i'm not kidding you i think like 99 percent of my cars have some sort of banner and it always has that one so this one will go like that now for the inside then i think that then i have to put um a little um um whisper white so just not whisper white uh very vanilla so let me just grab a little piece of that um here i'm gonna go ahead and put um that one. Ooh, 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 ooh. let me see you said i have the inside i think that it would be nice if i put the inside right well okay i don't have um oh here we go i have here that it's a scrap so i'd rather use a scrap i always have like little bags with the scraps that way i can use them and so for this one, how about if we uh, die cut the inside, right? So we're gonna go ahead and put it like so. And I'm gonna be using the Stitch Show Swiftly dies. And I'm gonna go ahead and, oh my goodness, of course the one that I wanna use. I think that, no, I'm gonna be using this one, the largest one. So let's just put this one for a second here. Does this one fit here? Oh, yes. Oh, this was like a perfect match. No kidding. Okay. Of course, it's kind of moving all over the place. Perfect. Okay. Now, this is, uh, my machine is kind of old. This is the first one I ever had. And the plates are kind of old. So I'm running it three times just because... I don't think this is uh, giving enough pressure. As you can see, my plates are very well locked. But I'm sure that um, you might not need to do that. Uh, the dies cut really well. It's just my machine is just too old. And I haven't had time to replace those plates. So anyway, so I'm going to be putting this one here. I think that will be really nice. And then let's put this one that says, if love and thoughts could heal. So in my mind... I thought um, at the beginning, I thought this could be really nice for the outside and then the other one for the inside. However, I think I, it, it will go really well either way, right? Don't you think? So we're going to be putting this one here. Now, try to always do your um, stitch.
stamping before you glue anything because if something happens here then i can always flip it right so i know you know these but i try to not glue something and then a stamp because sometimes um we all have we all have sometimes issues going on and the stamping is not as nice as we expected <laughs> so we could have that there we go is that not nice um so i'm gonna be putting this one here oh i like that definitely like that one all right now if i had a lot more time but i will not be doing it just because i i have to go back inside with the little kids here shortly and i still have two more cards to do but if we have more time you could actually use the uh painted puppies and kind of do one of these flowers too don't you think it will be really nice as well now i won't be doing that just because again i don't have that much time today i really have to stick to doing the car so i don't have to be i cannot be all over the place this time you know sometimes i have a little bit more time but um today the kids were a little bit more more um active and my husband was already going crazy so i know he's not gonna be all excited if i take too long <laughs> i'm sure you can all understand that little kids are something i'll tell you that okay so let's just see this oh yes definitely all right so i'm gonna put that one here um so we're gonna be putting this one with um dimensionals if i can find it dimensionals oh yeah i'll put them here you know sometimes i try to put everything in like little bags and then i forget i had them do you all do the same <laughs> okay i'm gonna be using this for later but at least let's use that one so let's just put one Hello, hello, ladies. Again, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Really appreciate it. All right, so we're going to be putting this one right there. And then let's just see this one. So I want to put that one like right here. Yes, yes. All right, so probably this one will be only with glue dots since this one's already ready. So let's just put the glue dots already I know Carol is I'll be honest sometimes it's really crazy with the two little guys working and um, yeah yeah I'm, I'm not gonna lie sometimes it's a little bit challenging but you know what uh, honestly do the stamping up like my stamping up card making is always to keep me sane just because of all the stuff going on with me and my life um and i really feel like if i don't if i don't do any crafting like i get too stressed i'm not kidding you i get too stressed and yeah i definitely have to let's see maybe i want to add some of these leaves so yes Oh, thank you so much, Brenda. I really appreciate the feedback. I'm glad to know. See, I can even leave like one of those. I think like it will be nice. Maybe not here, but here, you know, like have it there. Yeah, I think I like it better there. Do I like this one here? It's already color. Let's see. I don't know that I do. Yeah, I don't. I don't love it in this one. I'm going to leave it with the watercolor. I feel like that one is nice. But I'm going to be adding um, this one with... Um, blue dots so anyway so yeah i mean stamping keeps me sane i'll tell you that and if i don't know if i don't do some sort of craft or something uh oh oh i think i uh put it all like even my husband can't feel it you know like i get all ugh. there you go all stress and everything kind of bothers me so he definitely wants me crafting i'll tell you that oh oh yes love it 
All right, so we're gonna put in that one. I know. You know, it's funny that you said that, um, Mari. At one point, honestly speaking, I do want to kind of retire and only do crafting. And I mean, once the business, you know, my stamping up business kind of grows a little bit more, I probably will do that. Um, so anyway, so here you go. Very simple, very nice. Oh, you know what? I thought I was going to be putting these little guys. So let's just try to do some of those. Now for this one, uh, I think I'm going to be using the the um a little bit of the um oh. what is this um so i'm gonna be putting like three dots right and i know i need to um cut it i need to put it here Okay, I need to, I'm not too savvy yet on using this little tool for the sequence. There we go. Um, and I'm, I'm only picking the, see, I think like something is on this one. Let me remove this one. I feel like there's something on that one. Oh yeah, there's like a little something here i don't know what it was so let me put it back well the there we go oh no it's not even fresh anymore so let's just put a little bit more of these so he's not wanted to pick it up well and i have fat fingers of course right There we go. Much better. There we go. Yeah. I'm still trying to learn this little part. Not always the best. You seeing that? I do feel like when it sticks well, it's kind of handy. There we go. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, make sure you always um, take that one. And you can see here. So you have a little bit of that uh, little uh, sequence there. I might even add another one here. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it like that. I cannot be perfectioning everything here. So anyway, so here we go. So now we're going to go with card number two. You can see this one. I love that watercolor a lot, seriously. So now for card number two, um, same, um, yes. So this one, I was like, what did I do with it? So same as with the other one. Uh, we're going to be using the Honey Bee, the hon no, the Golden Bee Design Series paper, which is, again, this one. And um, and let me just tell you what I did on this one. So what I did on this one, this was uh, eight and a half by five and a half. I already folded in half just because I wanted to kind of um, know where the fold was going to be after before cutting this one. Now, for this part, I used the... Seasonal layer stainless, which is the one that has this nice scallop edge. So now, contrary to what I always say, that I always like to run my die this way, I did have to cut it this way on the big shot on my die cutting machine, just because there was no way I could put a whole sheet like so, right? So for those cases, I did have to put it that way. It did cut really well, no issues, as you can see, and um, it is about one inch or one and one quarter yeah it's like it was like one inch from where i put it right so i kind of did one inch there right and um but you can see there's a longer areas here so once you figure out that much like on the on this area you can see that it's more like one and one quarter so i went ahead and cut the this paper at one and a half so this one is one and a half that way i could make sure when i glue it on this side Right when I glue it on this side, everything gets covered. So when you're doing this, just make sure you kind of 
you cut first this one to see how much you're going to be cutting. Now, you could also do some lining and whatever, but you know me, I'm, I'm more on the fly all the time. So I kind of see, okay, this was one, one inch and then kind of look at how much I need and then go from there. You just add a little bit more just to make sure nothing, you don't show anything as you have everything. Now, um, I did cut, once I figure that part, then I cut a piece of Whisper White and this one is um, three inches. And it's longer than like you can see this one is like five and five and five eight just so that i can cut you know i always like cutting um the x's and the same thing with this one this is one and a half as i said and then uh this is five and five eight so this one will go right on the edge like so and this go this way so again just um that's why i had to cut that one first so that i could cut everything else now long explanation hope it was clear if it's not please by all means uh, ask questions and i'll try to explain as much as i can um so now for this one so let's just see what i was thinking so i have this one here and of course i wanted to use this little um out of the elements this one because i thought that it looks really nice but it was like too like there's nothing else oh the other thing that i was thinking on this one just for fun that maybe i wanted to have it this way rather than the typical right and i don't know why because usually i am so much into oh it opens this way but for this one i thought it would probably be nice if i had it that way and then open this way i don't know why but i was thinking that um then i have this guy and i thought okay let's just add like a little bellum just to kind of have something else and of course following kind of like the same as with the other one if you see this design um, kind of like the same thing, right? I mean, just put a little sentiment here and then when you open it, have the sentiment right there. What do you think? I think, I think it will be really nice. Um, the other thing that I was thinking is maybe using, um, what is this called? The real red, uh, real red, uh, double stitch ribbon. Cause I still have almost my whole, I really like this whole, um, getting better you know because i never had any of those and when people get sick i never had anything handy so i might go with that one i feel like i mean i did put the congratulations here but i feel like this one will also be really nice as i get well don't you think i think so so i'm gonna go with that one so very similar as with the other one uh we're gonna go ahead and stamp the sentiment i'm telling you this paper is really nice and again it's free with celebration so definitely great great paper to have oh i don't know i might have to redo this again oh no it's perfect <laughs> okay um now for this one i have to kind of see what i'm doing and then okay i'm gonna put that one like right there okay and then i'm gonna put it like somewhere here all right perfect so very easy to make as well as you can see now i'm going to go ahead and glue this one down so that i can cut everything as we need So let's just go ahead and glue down this side. And then again, we're going to be cutting this section. Oh, now I put a lot of adhesive right at the border. So I think that after cutting it, I might have to clean this one. And I think I already shared this, but I usually clean my scissors with um, essential oils, which I know is crazy. <laughs> it's really well. I mean, use your lemon. Uh, you can see I have it like right there. The lemon um, of the essential oils. And it does wonders, I'm telling you. Now, it's, I feel like, yeah, it's a little bit more here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and then put this one here. Actually, I feel like I'm going to be putting more of the white. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to try not to go all the way to the border so that I don't have too much of that glue on my scissors. But um, 
we're gonna go ahead and glue this one to the edge. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut this section. And like I said, that's the only thing. See, for those things, I'm just gonna do it. Cause see, this starts, once I have some of that glue, it's just kind of weird. And like I said, it's just a little bit of um, oil. So it's not like a lot, but it just works wonders because otherwise I'm gonna, it's like it sticks. And so it just takes all the gooey out. And well, I don't know what I did with the thing, but it's done. And then it's back. Yeah, perfect. Yes. So I do that all the time. <laughs> okay. So now we have this one. We're going to go ahead and cut again with the Taylor Tech Punch. And um, let's go ahead and put that one. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and put this one like so. Now for this one, I'll be honest, I feel like I need to put this one first so I know exactly where I'm gonna be putting those glue dots, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add those glue dots here. Oh, actually I can use, no, no, glue dots is fine because I'm gonna be popping up that one. So let's just bring, oh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you, thank you. We'll see you soon then. <laughs> All right, so, oh, actually I need like another one here. So, I'm gonna put it like somewhere here. And then I know exactly where I'm going to be putting the glue dots. Now for this one, my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and bring those glue dots. And I'm going to put them exactly in the same place so I can hide them. So that they don't see anything on that vellum. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These didn't work. Let me just grab another one. Hmm. It's just that you cannot really touch them. Oh, this one is kind of... There we go. There we go. Perfect. I'm like, ugh. There we go. And then I'm going to be putting this one right here. Yes, right here, all is good. And then this one will be right here. But before I do that, I think that I need to put my ribbon first. The uh, one it is. Yes. We'll see if I like it or not. We'll see, or maybe I just add a little, yeah, I think it will be nice. I'm gonna do it a little bit tighter. All right, perfect. So now I'm gonna be putting it this one like right at the border. I'm gonna cut this. All right. I'm going to put this one like right here. There we go. And then this one will be like right there. Now for this one, I'll be honest, I'm going to be putting some glue dots just to make sure this doesn't go off. You can see it here. Just to kind of have it in the same place. So we're going to be adding more glue dots. Definitely one here. And then I'm gonna be adding one here too. Just to make sure this doesn't kind of move because it's right at the edge. 
Same thing with this one. I'm going to be adding another one here. There we go. And then I'm also going to be putting like one and one just to make sure this doesn't kind of fall off. Especially for this type of edge, right? This is right in the edge. Hello, Anne. All right, so now that I have that one, I'm going to go ahead and put this one. And um, let's use, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this edges. Because I want to put maybe like two of those, like of the long ones. Alrighty. Oh. Okay. And same as with the other one, I think it will be really nice if we add some of these, right? Don't you think? So let me just add. See, I'd remove it and then I don't have anything. Hopefully it's still there. We'll see. Because like I said, I, um, I love the take your pick, but for this type of thing, sometimes I am not really, have not mastered it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use same, this one. So this is the fine tip glue pen. And we're going to be putting... So, like so, and, huh. oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and say so like, have to be careful with that one. And then one more here. Oh, move back. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Let me put the more adhesive because I'm sure this one will fall off. There we go. Oof. Okay. I'm telling you. I am not the best at the sequins, but I love how they look. <laughs> I think these will be easier for like a chicker car, right? But anyway, I love them for just little accents like this. And you can see it here. And again, this one opens kind of like differently, but it looks really nice, don't you think? And I love this little edge. I really do. So anyway, so that's car number two. And so let's go with the final car. And the final car should be really, really easy. I guarantee you. And so for this one, I have this. Now, let me just see one thing here. Um, this one, I do want to put the congratulations on that one. And uh, let me see. Um, I'm going to try to do some embossing if I can. Which I know I said it's easy and then uh, and then I come up with all these ideas, right? So and the only reason I want to do that is because I feel like it will be really nice to have these uh with whisper with the white, right? So let's just focus first on the sentiment and then we'll go from there. Um so okay, so let's just bring this one. Yeah, let me see if I can mm. Well, yeah, that should be fine. Let's just use this. All right, so the first thing is I'm going to go ahead and bring the embossing body just so that your powder sticks right in place. Yeah, I think Tumbo would have been also a good idea. I don't think my problem is the glue. I think my problem is just picking up the sequence. I'm not too, you know... I don't know that this sticky thing sometimes drop me off. I'll be honest, <laughs> but I like the concept and I think it will be really great if I can, if I learn how to use it better. Right. But anyway, 
Um, okay, so I'm going to be putting the congratulations. And this is Bursa Mark. So it's like a sticky, sticky um, ink. So that the powder sticks to where the stamp is, right? The stamp image is. So I'm just pressing firm. All right, and then I'm going to bring this. I love embossing. I just never use it. I feel like sometimes it takes me a little bit more. But you know what? I think that this card would be great with that. Now, if there's some areas where you get a little bit, then you just take it back. Um, let me just put this one back into my jar. And close this because you don't want to mess up embossing powder here. And then once I have that, I'm going to bring the heat tool and we're going to see this. So we have it, right? Really nice. There we go. All right. So now let's just go with the card. So I have here a piece of, again, basic black. And this one is six and a half or five and a half as usual. We're going to fold it in half. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half. Oh, I have a little bit of the bosom powder here. Um, then again, same design series paper, the Golden golden Honey Designer Specialty Design Series paper. And this one is 3 and 5 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths. And I have a real red cardstock. And this one is 3 and 3 quarters by 5. I'm going to be gluing this one's like so. And I know I'm not going to be doing anything. Else, so let's just glue this one like so. This is just a one eighth of an inch for the mat. There we go. And um, all right, so I'm going to be Put in this one like so. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, we have this one. I have also die cut this, and this one is from the puppies. What is this? The Oh my goodness, I don't remember the name. Let me see if I can find it real quick. So I can show, but it's from the Poppy's um, collection. The one that has all the, oh, here it is. There's this one. So it's the painted labels. So it is this one. And um, I like that it has some stitching too. And it kind of looks like when you put a little linen thread, if you will, right? And do that kind of stuff around it. So I like this one a lot. I am using though um two inch circle that I already uh pre punch. Yes, it's two inch, yeah, two inch so that it kind of covers the whole thing. Then I'm gonna be having this guy, and then I'm gonna be putting this one here. And I wanna use this border, one of these black borders that um is coming from the same. Now I'm not gonna be using the whole thing, so I'm gonna be cutting it, but um let's just cut first this part. Alrighty, then let's cut somewhere here, and then let's, uh, probably a little bit more, there we go, oh, this one, it's a little bit crooked, so let me just do this one again, yes, 
much better. All right, so I have this one. I'm gonna glue this one here and I'm gonna cut it right there. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut right here. And then once I glue everything, I'm gonna be cutting this section, right? Because I don't want any of that showing up. And the same thing with this, I don't want any of these showing up. So I'm gonna put, um, kind of like, I think glue those will be fine. I think glue those. You can see that I use glue those a lot lately. I don't know what it is the deal, but I, I've been finding them very useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one like so. There we go. Right. And then I'm gonna be putting um, dimensionals on those. Where did I leave that strip that I was using? Oh, I can put it like so, so that it's kind of taking both of those. So let's just start gluing everything. So this is a very simple car again. Oh. Just using some of the ties. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. We're gonna go ahead and put this one like that. Now this one though, I'm gonna put it like so. And then I feel like this one needs to be popped up. So let's just add also some um, dimensionals as well. So let's just see. You know what? I probably need to leave a little bit of this differently. So I'm going to put it like somewhere here. Yes. Yes. All right. So I'm going to be putting so maybe we need and maybe something here. Oh. I'm going to leave it like so right now. Yes. Okay. So Some of those edges. Probably need to add something here now that I think about this. Just that everything kind of has the same level. And make sure you're using the edges of those dimensionals, you know? Because everything has a uh, glue, so everything sticks. Do not throw them away, use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one like so. Then this one right here. Oh yeah, definitely here. And then let's just add um, a little bow. I think like a little bow will be really nice because this one is so really, really cute little bow here. Yeah, there we go. Oh yes, definitely. Definitely really nice. Got a little bit more of this one. Um, let's just use another glue dot. And add it right here. Okay, now I can add some of those sequins, so maybe we'll give it another try. Now, I'm going to be using the Carol set to use the tumble. I um, actually just got this one, trying to give it a try. You know that I love the fast fuse, but I feel like uh, maybe I need to start kind of also playing a little bit with the um, tumble. Just to see how I like it. I'm not really playing too much with it yet. I still have enough fast fuse, but I felt like, okay, let's... The star giving it a try so that it's not as shocking when I run out of the fast few, seriously. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just 
feel like I like a lot the gold. Okay, so let's just... Okay. Alright, so yes, I feel like, yeah. Carol, I think you're right. I think that the gold is a little bit... Not the gold, the glue. Well, maybe not. Maybe I talk too fast. Maybe it's not... Oh, no, well... It's a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie. But still not my... My forte. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I'll give you that. <laughs> Maybe I'll add, add another one here. I feel like it needs like like two more here. All right. So let's just do that. Um. All right. One of those. And it also doesn't help that I have this little. I mean this. Oh my goodness. See that. Like this one has this. Um, hmm, I need to clean this one real quick. Um, oh, had a little bit of hair. That it has um, like little flowers. You know, I don't know if I if you can. So some of the sequins have like a flower shape, and those are a little bit harder. I'll be honest. Just because they're not flat, they they don't lie flat. So those are a little bit more challenging. Um, but. I think, I think we could, I think I, I was able to manage it. <laughs> All right, so, um, now I'm going to be using a little bit of this. I know we don't sell that anymore, the little glue thing, but I have a little bit of glue on my finger and, you know, put a little bit there. So before it dries, it's gone. And there you have it. Now, this one, I'm sure that once it dries, you're not going to see those white dots. It will be all clear. And there you have it. So let me just show you all the cards. Um, because not all of you were here the whole time. So let me just put them as always here so that you can see them. Um, like I said, this one I like that it's a little bit different. <laughs> um, and so here you have all the cards for tonight. And um, they all use the elements. You can see I've used different parts of the elements. Um, I did use one of the vellum, one of the um, watercolor, then these pieces of cardstock that are really thick already colored. Um, I also used the sequence on all of them. And then, of course, the design series paper comes, comes from the, um, what is that called? The gold honey design, specialty design series paper, which is coming from the celebration. So again, free when you purchase $50. And, um, and then the sentiments... It's um it's coming from the sending you thoughts again it's free uh, it's part of the celebration offering and it's free also when you purchase fifty dollars so anyway so thank you so much hope you have enjoyed them let me know which one is your favorite I honestly I don't know I think I like them all I like the different shape on this one but I love the watercolor on that one and definitely like this whole thing here so. I don't know which one is my favorite. I'll be honest. Kind of hard for me tonight. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next week. And um, don't forget to... Oh, you know what? I didn't say this. But don't forget to sign up for my email. Um, I have a new class coming up soon. So I'll give you a sneak peek. So you have... Um, it is the birthday bonanza. You have here. And what I love is that there's some fun falls. Um, this one, um, loving this type of fold and then I have this one so there's three that are fun folds on the new class so make sure you sign up to my mailing list I always put the email um, um, the link to sign up for my email list so that you get more information as soon as I release it I'll be releasing some other class before that one um, but anyway that's how I communicate about the classes and give you links to register so thank you so much and I'll see you next week <laughs> the last one. You like the last one, Marie. All right. Well, thank you. Have a good night. Bye.